Hey folks, everything new under the sun. Well, I should have included this article in the last one. I just saw this now. And uh, I was mentioning this, but this is uh, a recent a recent article. This is dated June 6th. So yesterday, this is a new from the information that I had, uh, indeed where they were sending up pamphlets. War cry. Uh, Sweden mobilizes all of its reservists for first time in 40 years. What is happening here it is a strike by Russia imminent? Like what like I, I'm honestly wondering what is happening here. For the first time since the Cold War, Sweden has called its entire home home guard force. <coughs> excuse me. Twenty two thousand reservists for snap exercises out of nowhere. The drills were supposed to bolster the country's defensive and operational uh, capabilities. Sweden mobilized all forty home guard battalions in an unprecedented exercise that has not been held since nineteen seventy five. It says, our mission is to strengthen Sweden's military defense and improve operational capabilities. The main task of the Home Guard is to fulfill secondary military roles such as patrolling and guarding important infrastructure objects. To me, it sounds like they're getting ready for, uh, you know, they're preparing for war. And so these countries are getting ready to have their military and their reserves uh, ready to go to protect civilian areas, to pre uh, protect um, the country effectively. While participation in the drills was voluntary, the military expressed hopes that at least half of the reservists would respond to the call. The nominal strength of the Home Guard is 22,000 people. The commander of the Force General, Major Roland Eckenberg, said he felt great respect for the people who voluntarily choose uh, to participate in the exercise. Apart from the Home Guard, another Cold War era, era relic was dusted off in May, when the country issued a, re a reprint of a brochure dubbed If Crisis or War Comes, this is the uh, pamphlet we were talking about, I was talking about in the last uh, <clears throat> video, and last, I've done a whole video, but a couple, probably last week or so. The 2018 issue of the booklet contains advice on how to take shelter, what foods to stock, be, be attention guys, this is for the preppers out there, how to manage water reserves, and most importantly, how to tell propaganda from trustworthy information. The booklet is designed to prepare the populace for all sorts of crises, ranging from terrorist attacks to all-out war. Why are they calling up the reservists? Why is Trump uh, warning NATO to prepare for a Russian attack? What's happening here? What is happening in Europe? Um, it was the first time since 1991 that Swedish authorities distributed such a brochure to citizens. So this is an addendum, really, an add-on to um, the, the last video I did. This is from RT.com. So Russia, a Russian news source is um, uh, reporting on this now as well. Pretty interesting stuff. What is, again, what, what, what is the government's hearing? What is the military hearing in Europe? Um, do they think there is actually a Russian invasion on the table? Uh, again, you got to figure there's, there's more to the story than um, just this. All we're seeing is the warnings and the buildups and the exercises and the pamphlets going out. But what are this uh, in intelligence uh, agencies, uh, what are they hearing about this stuff? What actual ideas do they have as to what they think is actually going to occur here? Is this all simply just training, just standard uh, run-of-the-mill training to have citizens prepared for any eventuality? There's got to be something more than that because this is the first time in 40 years that they're calling all reservists up. This is the first time since 91, was it, that the war pamphlets have went out to uh, tell people how to survive in case of an invasion or an all-out all -out war or maybe even economic collapse. Maybe that's why they're calling up <clears throat> their reservists. They know an economic collapse is imminent. Maybe that's why... <laughs> Sorry, maybe that's why. Um, maybe that's why they're calling up uh, the reserves. Uh, maybe the intelligence agency has an idea that the economy uh, is about to tank. Maybe um, the militaries of the world are getting ready for martial law. I mean, you got to you got to think about that scenario. That scenario's got to be there. Maybe that's what they're talking about. Maybe that's why the reserves are being called up um, to um, because in this case in Sweden, they are being called up to basically protect the country. They're not being called up for offensive. Uh, war to be frontline fighters. These people are uh, called up to uh, protect important. Uh, let's see, where does it say important? Um, 
patrolling and guarding important infrastructure objects while the standing army is engaging an enemy. So these reservists being called up are, are looking to protect, basically effectively to provide martial law security in the event of a military conflict. But they could also be used uh, in the event of an economic uh, collapse or, or uh, crisis in the country, in NATO, uh, sorry, in Europe. And maybe they see this coming. Maybe this is what, maybe this is really what the security agencies are doing. And it's under, under the cover of uh, Russia, since Russia is, is loud right now. Maybe, maybe that's what they're getting ready for. Maybe they know an economic collapse is inevitable, and that is coming. And then the excuse is war. Uh, but in fact, uh, it's, it's much worse from the point of view of most Western countries, um, an economic collapse, because that would require martial law everywhere. So an interesting situation here. What could it mean? I don't know, but it certainly plays directly into the NATO exercises. And like I say, I, I, I wonder if the red herring, the big uh, the bo boogeyman in the corner is Russia. Meanwhile, they're, they're uh, preparing the militaries to deal with um, economic collapse situations. That's, that's just another side to the potential story. Or, they, or they, maybe, they, maybe they believe that uh, Russia is indeed uh, in, intending to attack and uh, take over some countries. Um, we have no idea what uh, Putin has up his sleeve and what he's planning. Pretty significant, significant happenings uh, in these in these last days. Lord's returning soon. I believe we only have maybe ten years left. I've done videos on that. I think the end of six thousand years of man is about the year twenty twenty eight. That's kind of the end of time, plus or minus a, a year or two. Um, I believe. I'm not dogmatic about that, but I think that's where it sits. And I think there's ten more years added on to Israel's seventy years as a nation. Uh, I think they'll make it to 80 uh, by reason of strength, and that strength is only uh, biblically coming from God, who actually protects them in the last days in Ezekiel 38. So pretty interesting story, guys. I'll put the link in the description. You can check it out. Uh, but uh, the times that we are in are scary. They're troublesome. And countries are getting ready for something. What are they getting ready for? They're getting ready for the last days, the events that are coming. Even if they don't read the Bible, even if they don't recognize that these, all these things are playing into the end-time Bible prophecies, they're getting ready for something. And so you should be prepared as well. Ultimately, you need to be prepared in your heart and your soul first. Are you going to heaven? If, you're, if you do not know that you're going to heaven, if you're not sure, you need to get right with Jesus Christ today. On top of that, you need to be prepared. Be wise. Have some food. Have some water. Be prepared. Follow these documents, the pamphlets that these countries are getting ready. Because these are going to prepare you for event of war or event of uh, famine, economic collapse, etc. You need to be prepared. You need to be in an area, you know, it's best to get outside of the cities um, in Europe. I certainly wouldn't want to be in a big city in Europe um, with all these uh, rumors going on. And uh, even in the country, it's hard because people are going to uh, scramble out of the uh, cities like rats uh, when uh, famine and hard times and economic collapse and war comes, they're going to scramble out into the countryside. And so even in the countryside, it's hard. Um, regardless, um, interesting times. You need to be prepared uh, in multiple ways. And so take it as a warning. Put all these news stories together and make up your own decision for what you think is occurring. Um, and just use the brain that God gave you. Be wise and uh, be prepared. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you guys in the next video.